Did you know there are about 30,000 castles in Ireland? And today we are going to explore one of these archaeological wonders, the Malhide Castle. Hi guys and welcome to our Castle Diaries. Let's jump right into it. We took a bus which was the most convenient way for us to get to Malhide Castle since it is a 25 minute drive from Dublin city centre. There are plenty of public transport options available including bus and dart. After a fun Dublin bus ride, we reached our destination. It's just a short 5 minute walk along various species of trees from the main entrance gate of the property. We reached quite early in the morning and had the place pretty much to ourselves. I had also read that the place tends to get more and more visitors as we progress during the day. That's why we decided to arrive as early as possible, which worked out quite well for us. Just 7 minutes of walking and we can already see the stunning glimpse of the castle. Let me give you guys an insight into the history of Malahide Castle and some interesting facts. Malahide Castle is one of the very few castles notable for spending nearly its entire lifetime in one family's hands, the Talbot family. King Henry II gifted Richard Talbot the lands and harbour of Malahide for his services to the crown in 1185. Ever since, the Talbot family called it home for 800 years. The original stronghold built on the lands was a wooden fortress, but this was eventually superseded by a stone structure on the site of the current Malahide castle. The 800 years of possession of the castle by the Talbot family ended with Rose, sister to the 7th Baron Talbot, and eventually sold it to the Irish government in order to fund inheritance taxes. You can visit the interiors of the castle in guided tours which had still not started as we arrived, giving us a window of 40-45 to 45 minutes to explore the surrounding estate. There's a butterfly house and fairy trail that you can visit when you're here. On the way to the Butterfly House, we also saw the graveyard of the Malahide Abbey right beside the castle. The Butterfly House, located in the vast gardens of the Malahide Castle, is one thing I'd recommend you must not miss if you visit the Malahide Castle. Step inside the Cambridge Glass House so you can see 20 different species fluttering their wings in this exotic environment. This is definitely a one-stop shop for photographers and nature lovers alike. You can find a tremendous mix of beauty and colour here. I can't tell you how spellbound we were by the captivating elegance in front of us. Another tip guys, don't miss this rare species of butterfly with transparent wings. It took us almost 10 to 15 minutes to cover the glass house and soak in all that beauty at once. And mind you, some of these beauties are way too photogenic for you and will pose for your cameras as much as you like. After being done with the butterfly house, we are back for our tour. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, you can buy the tickets for the castle tour from the information centre which also includes the butterfly house and ferry trail. Before you enter the castle, remember that videography is strictly prohibited in the premises and only photography is allowed. Pay attention to your tour guide presenter to learn all the intricate details that you might not find online. Without much ado, let's take you inside and give you a closer look at how lords and ladies lived centuries ago. Our guide met us in the basement of the castle where our tour started. Just above this are the small and great dining rooms depicting the mid-Georgian building and construction style. You can see wooden panels with carvings displaying events from scriptures. I bet you can't miss the signature malahide orange paintwork adorning the drawing room walls. This is the confidant sofa where the courting couples got to know each other in the good old days. 
we also had access to the master and ladies private bedrooms on the second floor to get a glimpse into the personal lives of the Talbot family. You can come face to face with the castle's former residents in the Talbot portraits lining the walls of the Great Hall. had our share of tales of war and bravery while travelling back in time and next we headed to the ferry trail which is part of the surrounding 260 acres of estate parkland to enjoy the rest of our afternoon Ferry Trail is part of the West Lawn which is a peaceful green space dotted with trees and has some of the best views of the castle. This interactive trail filled with magic and fun is the best way to spend some quality time with your family whether you're 2 or 92. The trail is approximately 1.8 kilometers and takes an hour to get around using the interactive booklet to solve clues and answer questions along the way don't forget to pick up the booklet from the visitor center before starting the trail guys enjoyed a glimpse into the facts and history of Malahide Castle along with the fun filled fairy trail and butterfly house do tell us your favorite part of the castle tour in the comment section like share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already ciao for now